Hello and welcome to this short video tutorial regarding control software for multi-channel high voltage power supplies of Isaac Spezial Electronic GmbH. My name is Stefan Jok and I am one of the sales engineers at Isaac. You can download all of the control software on our webpage www.isaac-hv.com under the tab Support. Here you can find software downloads and you can download the different control softwares. In this video I want to show you some of the functionalities of the software called CanHV Control. CanHV Control is designed to be running on a Windows system and I will be switching to a Windows system therefore now. If you have downloaded the application from our website it is usually in a zip file containing a self-extracting file. If you double click on that file a dialog will open where you will be asked where you want to extract the files to. I, in this case, choose a temporary folder to extract um, the installation files. In there you will find an exa called Isaac Can Control, which is the installer for this software. If you want to, you can specify a different installation folder. The standard installation folder is program files backslash Isaac backslash Isaac can HP control. After installing the program, you can start the software by by going to the installation folder and double clicking Isaac can HV control. In this case I have not attached any high voltage system to this computer but this window could also pop up in case the wrong can hardware is chosen. Please make sure that you choose the correct CAN hardware which is working with your system in this dialog. If you have a system connected and chosen the correct CAN hardware, by opening the program in the main window you should see the modules in your system. In this case I have two multi-channel modules within this crate and as you can see by going with the mouse over the icon you can see some additional information about the modules. With a click of one of the icons you can open the dialog window for this specific module. In the tab single channel access you can specify some of the values of the chosen channel. The chosen channel is highlighted by the colored bar, in this case it's channel 0. With a click on status control you open a separate window in which you can get information about the current and past status of the channel. If one of the items in the column status is marked this means this event is currently ongoing. For example if is VLIM would be marked that would mean that currently the module is at voltage limit. If one of the items in the column event status is marked this means there has been an event regarding this item. A more detailed explanation about the items can be found in the manual. In the tab Module Access you can specify the values regarding all channels of a module. So for example setting voltages, current or the RAM speed. You can also see the hardware limits for this module which are specified via the potentiometers on the front panel. In this case it's set to maximum. With instructions for all channels, you can switch on or off all channels or set or reset the emergency mode for all of the channels. 
With Statistic you activate a functionality where all of the measurement data of the different channels is saved to buffer memory. If you finally want to save this data, you can do that by clicking this little disk icon. A dialog window will pop up where you can specify the location and file name for this measurement data. Regarding this, you can also specify the frequency in which data should be taken with the tab Timer. The standard frequency is 1000 milliseconds. Values lower than 100 milliseconds are not suggested. A lot of information about the software as well as the modules can be found in the help function. We suggest every user who is new to our software to take a careful look at these files. Information which can be helpful for advanced users can be found in passwords. For example, you can find here the password which is necessary to activate the functionality to upgrade the firmware of the multi-channel modules. In the second row you will find several quick buttons to read out and reset the status of the module as well as a functionality to activate or deactivate Kill Enable. Kill Enable specifies the behavior of a channel in case the preset output current is reached. If the kill function is enabled, the channel will shut down as soon as it reaches the preset output current. If Kill Enable is deactivated, the channel will switch into current control mode and limit the output current. With a click on the light bulb, you get some information about the input voltages of the module as well as the module temperature. On the right side of the second row, you will find a button for the passwords, activation and deactivation of the hotkeys, a quick link to the help function and the exit button. Many thanks for watching this short video tutorial. Should you have any more questions regarding the software or the high voltage modules itself, please do not hesitate to contact us via any of the means given on our website www.isaac-hv.com. Thank you and bye bye.